Hey guys, what is going on? My name is McKism and welcome to my tutorial on how to create a strange matter generator in Minecraft Vaults. So as you can see, this is the final product of my design and it is one of the most efficient and compact that I've seen on YouTube yet. Uh, I haven't seen a smaller one. A lot of the one a lot of people use right now is uh, very, very massive. Um, but in this tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to create this particular design as well as um, some of the statistics around how fast it generates strange matter. So uh, without further ado, uh, we will get on with the creation of the design. Okay, so creating the design. Um, I call it the X design because of kind of how it looks. So essentially the first thing you're going to want to do is create four pathways in the ground and have them all centered around one block. Uh, do not break the block that they had centered around because that's where all the explosions are going to occur. So then place some electromagnets in all the pathways as well as in between the pathways. You're going to need about 20 in total and that's all that you're going to need. Uh, so it's not too many. It's much cheaper than some of the other designs out there. And after you've done that, you're going to want to grab one of the accelerators and place it on the outside of all the pathways. You have to make sure that you place it down from the outside, because if you place it from the inside, it won't work, because it'll be facing in the wrong direction. So just quickly do that. And now you're going to have to power these accelerators. Uh, it does work, or rather, you can power it with about six advanced solar arrays. Uh, but for this tutorial's length, I'm just going to use some advanced batteries, or rather, uh, unlimited batteries. So I am using an advanced battery box, but you can also use a quantum or a normal battery box. It really doesn't matter. Uh, they all accomplish the same thing. I just like the advanced one because it provides the most options with its slots. So place down a down transformer upgrade and a unlimited... I think it's unlimited. Nope. Uh, infinite. Infinite battery. and let it begin to charge. Do this for each one. As you can see, it doesn't really take too much. Yeah, I forgot the battery. Okay, here's the last one. We're gonna give it its upgrade as well as its battery. So now that they're all powered, um, I can show you guys how this works. Essentially, first thing we're gonna wanna do is uh, place down some levers that you can turn on each of the accelerators. And then we're also going to want to give each of the accelerators some some mass for to fling around and explode. So uh, the best mass to use when using these accelerators is dirt because it is the cheapest to use. It really doesn't matter what kind of mass you use. Um, it's not like you have a higher percent chance of getting strange matter when you're using a diamond or something. Um, no matter what, each mass is created into a particle. So simply go on the accelerator and put some dirt in the top slot. Do this for each one. There you go. And once you have each in, then you are ready to go. So now I'm gonna I'm gonna show it running, and then I'm also gonna go over some statistics at the same time. Uh, but essentially, all you really need to do is flick these switches, and it will start running. Um, so about those statistics. So I've let of all these different machines that you see scattered about uh, run for quite a bit. I, I let them go for about um, two. Well, each each holds about 256 dirt, and I let each go through that cycle twice. And each generated anywhere from zero to eight uh, strange matter within that period. Now, after averaging out all the values that I got, you have about a 2% chance of generating strange matter um, from any given explosion. Now, this is contrary to the current five that a lot of people think, uh, and this is also just what I have found. Um, so it, it, may be, it may change or it may be different, um, but from all my different samples, that's what I got. Uh, but like I said, because of this kind of... Oh, you know what? Never mind. I was gonna, I was gonna tell you guys we will never really know if we will get one, but here's a piece of strange matter right there. As you can see, it just kind of popped out of an explosion. Uh, but some other things I want to quickly talk about before I end this video uh, is 
to explode a particle, so I'm just going to quickly show you guys the two ways you can explode a particle, or rather tell you guys, is you need a particle to go over an empty space or collide with another particle. As you can see, I'm using the empty space method, um, and I'd actually say that that way works the best. If you want to do it another way, I'm sure it would work, uh, it would work too, or rather, if you wanted to do it the collision way, that would work too. Uh, it's just, it, it's easier if you do it like this. And it is also important to note that you only ever really need three electromagnets, uh, electromagnets to accelerate a particle. So if you wanted to automatically collect this strange matter, then what you'd want to do is just place the electromagnets on the top rather than the bottom so that when the uh, strange matter is generated, it falls straight down into a, I don't know, a water collection unit. Uh, so that's just one way that you could automate the process, I suppose. Anyway, I hope you guys did enjoy this tutorial. Um, I'm going to have tons of other stuff that has to do with atomic science, and um, I also plan on doing a few things with the MFFS, or the Modular Force Field System. Anyway, uh, this was a tutorial by Spikism. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I will see you guys later.